Welcome to Aces Academy. Bonus content here for you. And in this video, we're going to walk through how to run a great meeting. Here we go. Would you like to look forward to your team meetings? Would you like your team to look forward to your team meetings? Do you want more participation and involvement from your team during your team meetings? Want to have more fun in your team meetings? Let's create that for you now. In this bonus section of Aces Academy, we'll go over the contents of a great meeting, the why behind each piece. And we'll give you a template that you can use right away to increase the effectiveness of your team meetings, improving the culture on your team, and at the same time, increase your productivity. So important. So looking forward to going through the steps with you right now. And here we go. Step number one, the icebreaker. Many times as leaders, we jump right in and talk about the topics of the day. We're busy. We have another meeting upcoming. You just might have some emotion we want to get out based on the success or lack thereof the previous day. Stop. Use your icebreaker to make, your, make sure your team is ready to hear the information you're about to give. When your team is ready to receive your message, it will sink in and be remembered, and your team will appreciate your creative side. Number two, the agenda. It's important that your team hears what's coming in the meeting so they can mentally prepare for it. It also shows the group that you care because you took the time to prepare. Both of these are extremely important to having a successful meeting, <clears throat> so make sure that your agenda is rock solid. Number three, flowers. Who doesn't like to be prepped out? Many times we, in meetings we spend uh, on things that are to improve milestones that we didn't hit. Prop outs are few and far between, and over time it doesn't make your meeting something that's looked forward to. Consistently give people their flowers, your meetings will be a can't miss part of the day. Number four, meat and potatoes. Of course, we need to talk about the day's events, upcoming initiatives, changes to the business, and goals for the day. This could be where you insert the Herald that Ace talks about or other important information to make, make sure you take the time to prepare because this is an extremely important part to what you're trying to get across in the meeting. <clears throat> Number five, skill. Many times working on skill is left out of meeting. You just don't have time is what we tell ourselves. Most times improving production or morale in your team will come directly from being better at your craft. So don't allow this to be a part that gets left out. Have a skill piece in every meeting. Accountability, we tend to have this as the bulk of our meeting at times. That being said, it's still an important part to have in each meeting. Keep it a small part of the meeting, but make sure it's a part of everyone. Number seven, inspiration. Listen, you don't have to be an inspirational speaker to have inspiration in your meetings. It can come from a story of your past, a history lesson that you look up online or something that you've witnessed from a team member you want to give special flowers to. It doesn't have to be long, but even if one of your people are inspired to do more in every meeting, it will impact your team in a positive way. Your people will look forward to that part of the meeting. You can even empower others to run this part, create some ownership on your team. Number eight, the recap. This is one of the key components of a meeting that's forgotten about. As leaders, we go off on tangents. Meetings go longer than expected. We wing it because we're not prepared. At times, we give so much information that people can't possibly get it all. A consistent recap at the end of every meeting helps you people focus on the main thing. Remember the details that were talked about helps you stay on task because you know the recap is coming. You can even nominate somebody else to do this as well to make that sure that they're involved. Number nine, the jewel. Just a quick note's all you need. It can be anything, a quote, a quick lesson that you've learned growing up. It's another part of the meeting your team will look forward to and you can delegate this part as well, but traditions are important and this is a cool tradition to make part of your meeting so people look forward to it. So here's the template I promised you. Um, listen, this is something that can be used to make sure that you prepare throughout the day if you have it there for the meeting tomorrow. You can write notes as the day goes on and be ready. And if you're a leader, a leader of leaders, you can collect this each week from your folks to help hold them accountable to have great meetings. Listen, when you break the ice, care enough to prepare, prop your folks out, have great content, teach a skill, hold the line on accountability, inspire the group with a strong recap and a jewel. You will be excited for your next meeting. Your people will as well.